Enter into Steve Roper's pig pen. The upstate prepcast crew, carrying the festive spirit, return to Steve Roper's pig pen from their Christmas party at the Flounder Seafood Restaurant. The atmosphere is lively with decorations and the anticipation of a memorable Christmas celebration. Welcome to the pig pen, fellas. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, or even a Festivus for the rest of us. You know, make yourselves at home. Boy, I tell you what, I'm sure am glad we decided to do our Christmas meal at the Flounder this year. Well, hell, you know what they say, if it's got a long line, you know the food is good. Yeah, but it does move quickly. Brit always likes the Blue Plate Special. It's his favorite. Ah, uh, there y'all go again, pretending y'all cutting commercials. You know there ain't nobody around here. There ain't no mics around. Who y'all talking to? Hey, hey, Roper, you got any of that uh, water? I could, I could use a drink of water. Uh, oh, if you got any ice to chill that water? Uh, uh, sure thing there, old buddy. Uh, there's a cabinet over in the corner of full of water. Uh, uh, freezer's over there, too. Uh, it's full of ice for your, uh, water. Now you talking, man. I think I'll take me some of that water as well. Come on here, Belvedere. Come on here. Come on, Belvedere. Leave that nugget looking dog alone. He's been neutered. That dog gonna hunt the same as we do. Well, nice place you got here, Steve. Hey, 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 Andy, try this. Yeah, let me back it up on you. Let me try this again. Now that everyone that's important is here. Hey, you guys, you guys, you try, you guys drive fast. I almost lost you coming over there. Uh, I knew it was just a, a short drive up Interstate 26, turn, turning on the Asheville Highway, coming from the Flounder Seafood Restaurant. Boy, uh, where the line is always long. Uh, yeah, but the food is always good. There they go again. Son of a, I mean, Malthus, I sure am glad you made it good, buddy. I was about to say, now that everyone is here, how good it was to have our new crew with us this year from Blue Ridge. <laughs> of course, uh, well, you've met their play-by-play -play announcer. Uh, thanks, uh, Elton. Uh, did I tell you guys that I'm a, a member of the Greer High School Athletic Hall of Fame? Uh, yes, you did, JB. Yeah, you told the waitress, too. Along with the greeter. All the customers. Man, you even talking to the kitchen staff. And you even told that guy that Tom uh, met in the bathroom and he thought was valet and cars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I tell you what, I had, to, I had to chase that guy down five blocks and give me, give him some retirement planning to get my car back, you know. My advice was, uh, if you don't get me my car right now this minute, uh, that, that Belvedere planned on the, the retiring your manhood permanently. <laughs> calm, calm, calm down there, Belvedere, calm down there. Hey, I don't like the way that dog looking at me. Also part of their crew is Jason on color commentary and their sideline reporter, Line. Hey, hey, everybody, party on! He's got that truck backed up to the door. He's going to kill us with all that carbon monoxide. Line, remember, I said only on cue when I tell you to. <laughs> Man, I got it, boss. Don't worry. All right, with that being said, now that we got that out of the way, we continue to our next tradition here at Upstate Prepcast. The airing of the grievances? Uh, no, Roper, that's the wrong holiday. Oh, Christmas was a lot more fun when we celebrated Festivus. Well, Steve, I won't name names or anything, but some people just did not handle the airing of the grievances very well. I still say that wouldn't have happened if I was in charge. Wait, wait a minute. What is that supposed to mean? It means whatever you want it to mean, big boy. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, do you want a piece of me? I want the whole thing. You got it, baby! <laughs> It was always entertaining, though, to let sidelines pin you every year. Man, things will never be the same. <laughs> oh, Melvin, get in here and break this up. I got to get, get home before they release the next report on the interest rate. Oh, oh, ow, ow, okay, Melvin, here, stop, stop. No more fighting, no more fighting. We don't have time for this anyway. We came here for a party. Uh, yeah, yes, sir. Hey, how's it, big guy? More water, anybody? Oh, God. As I was trying to say, it's time for our annual tradition of reading the story of Twas the Night Before Christmas. The Twat Before Christmas? No, Twas the Night Before Christmas. Oh, oh, a story. I'm your guy. I'm your guy. I'm ready to make the drive. Uh, toe the slab. Pop the pebble. Put pen to paper. 
Oh, I can do it all. We'll have a trifecta. Hey, now, wait a minute there, Malthus. I write for that BS paper there, too. I think I should be able to one to read this story. Besides, who out here can hit this from 10 foot away, hook shot from behind his back around the corner, nothing but spittoon? I read a BS story when I was inducted to the Greer High Lion. School. Lion! The important part. Well, Elton, I tell you what, looking at this situation here, I blame the referees for all this. Dean, what are you talking about? What are you talking about referees for? We ain't calling no game. Elton, Elton, you, you gotta pick me, Elton. You gotta think about diversifying your portfolio here, son. I, I got a hot tip on stock. We can put everything in a mutual fund. We'll be rich. Uh, uh, now, now see here. I was an award-winning writer for them in times, uh... and this is my pick in here. I think that I should be in charge of the reading of the night before Christmas because I'm the elder statesman. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, brother, oh, brother, I can't listen to any more of these panther tales from this relic. Y'all just forget this. I am going to let my brother Harold do it. Always with the family, Elton, eh? Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, Britt. It's not like that at all. Uh-uh, you, you guys like uh, like my new fur coat? Uh, oh, thanks, Elton. <laughs> Uh, uh, Harold, 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 of course, that rich and luxurious thing didn't come from me or any funds associated with me. That just fell off a truck, come from a friend. Anyway, this is getting out of hand, guys. Let's just skip the story this year and move straight to the presents. This year, I've asked Santa Claus to come and give you all a special present. Oh, 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 Let oh, me oh, go oh, find oh, him. Oh, boy, I hope Santa uh, brings me just what I wanted. <laughs> Make sure he, you ask for the accessories with it. You know, the air pump and the patch kit. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Columbus Day, every Merry Valentine's for water! Oh, oh, no, no, no! I, I want a Roadcaster Pro with the audio technical broadcast set signed by Joe Buck! <laughs> All right, Justin. Well, let's see what Santa has to say. Here he comes right now. Jeez, that's strange. I've never seen a Santa with a dark mustache. Shut up, Roper. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, you did read my letter. Oh, what did you ask for? A roadcaster, too? First, Santa Claus has a gift for the Fighting Tiger crew. Santa Claus has brought you all monogram burger towels for all that food that they bring you guys during halftime in the press box. Not that any of our visiting crews get any, but this way none of your equipment will ever get greasy. Mine says J-B-G-H-O-F. Uh, well, that stands for J.B. Greer Hall. Why? Cut me off again. We sure do appreciate that, Santa, and, and, and the towels, too. Now, for the Eagles crew. For you guys, I'm giving you all a brand new carpet cleaner with a whole year full of free cleaning supplies. Now, now, no disrespect here, uh, Elton, but uh, what on earth would we need a carpet cleaner for? Hey, hey, I told you in the bucket, man. Don't spit on my genuine imitation Persian rug. I think you guys get the picture of why you received that gift now is up for those red birds. Well, Santa Claus, you got us a playoff win? I'm playing Santa Claus, not a miracle worker. <laughs> yeah, that's Mathis's buddy. Hey, 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 what? Not now, Mathis. First up is for Steve. I have you a muzzle. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is that my present or his? Jackson, it's for both of you, for your peace of mind, and for Roper to keep his foot out of his mouth. Hey, it works. It's another Festivus miracle. And now, for Grandpa, I have a special case of 100% water. It's cold. Now that's what I call high quality a tool. Oh! Hey, Beauregard! Uh, I told you, no foosball in the house. Uh, don't worry, I don't feel a thing. I didn't even drop my water. Now, for the Bulldogs crew, Tom and Todd. <laughs> now, I've heard that you've been having some trouble this year oh, yeah. with some loud people in your press box. Oh, yeah. And that even more loud mouse may be coming in this year. So I would send you sidelines to be the enforcer and keep everyone out, but I already have him at the jungle at Panther Stadium keeping everybody out of our press box. So instead, we've decided to upgrade you to some noise canceling headphones so you don't have to hear anyone yelling and complaining about the clock. And to test it out, we're even gonna have Roper take off that muzzle and do some complaining about the clock. Now it's on the field, but the clock's still running. The clock's still running! I don't think he can hear you, Steve. Hey, 
Hey, the clock's still running, stupid! Well, that's perfect, Elton. To show my appreciation, I got a savings bond with your name on it. Just stop by the office and see me and Belvedere tomorrow. Thank you there, Tom. Now for the Panther crew. First up, our play-by-play -play Mr. Mean Dean. I have this Rolex watch with the Panther arms telling the time. It's one of a kind. Wow, is this a real Rolex? San I mean Santa? <laughs> yes, it's a real replica Rolex watch. <laughs> well, that's what I figured. Thanks a lot, Santa Claus. <laughs> all right, now, Parks, our sidelines. Since you've been telling me all the about this big pest that's been following you around all year on the sidelines, I got you here some of this bug control spray. <laughs> Man, that's just what I needed, Santa. Let me try some of this out. Shh. Works perfect, Santa. Yeah, Santa. Show you my appreciation. Have some of this here water. Woo! Boy, that's some real Mountain Dew. You mean um <clears throat> water? Oh yeah, yes, sir. That's some good water. <laughs> That'll put the cane in your candy right there. <laughs> Now that I gotta settle back down, got some more presents left. Um, Harold, my brother Harold, I've got you a watch as well. Well, I tell you, it looks like mine, but it all man, it, but this one even looks a little more real. I mean, look at the look at the quality of those cubic zirconias around the watch face there. Yes, and uh, brother Harold, uh, uh, I wouldn't drop this one like you can the others because uh. It looks and it's just like the real deal. You got me, hey brother. <laughs> now, uh, Brit, Brit. Oh, well, we can't forget Brit. After all, he's yeah, Brit. Yeah, where's my present? Tell you what, there, Santa and all his elves yeah. got together yeah. this year, and we made you this here T-shirt. Oh, what in the world? It says you're retired. Stay home, don't come back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I'm Merry Christmas there, Brit. <laughs> I'm warning you, Santa. I'm warning you, Santa. Now that everybody's gotten their presents, Santa oh, Claus oh, oh, must wait, be wait, going wait, away. Wait, 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 Santa, you forgot someone. You forgot me, Santa. You forgot me. Oh. You're right. I did forget someone there, Malthus. Beauregard. <laughs> Here's you a bone, boy. <laughs> Well, Justin, how about a new shirt to replace that shirt of many schools? Or how about some new pants to replace those Homer Simpson big boy pants? No, no, no. I want a Rochester Pro with the autographed Joe Buck headset. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. Merry Christmas. No, Justin. No Roadcaster. Instead, I'm going to give you this outfit that we talked about. Oh, man. Santa, my man, this, this isn't going to fit. You better put it on right away or you won't get any figgy pudding. <laughs> get on up there and put that suit on. All right, he'll be back in just a minute, folks, but Santa just wanted to tell all of you this year that he is proud of the jobs that each of you have done for Upstate Prep Cats. I hope that you all have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Santa has one last gift for you before he leaves. Turn around and it's at the top of those stairs. <laughs> All right there. Bye, Santa Claus. Bye. <laughs> uh, uh, Mr. Elton, uh, you didn't get anything from Santa Claus. You're right, Andy, and I don't need anything. You see, I'm blessed this year to just have the best broadcast crew out of any organization in the world. I don't need any material things. When I have people like y'all. Is that new rims on your van? Uh, don't look at the van, folks. Um, uh, how about we do one last thing before we leave? The feats of strength. Come here, Justin. No, no, no. We've already done that bit. Let's instead sing a Christmas carol. Just us together. Wouldn't that be fun? All right, then. Well, anyone that doesn't join in has to move with Harold to Monterey, Virginia. <laughs> All right. I'm in. I'm in. But what do you want to sing? Well, it's not a Christmas song, but uh, the Landrum crew's been hard at work on a new theme song for Upstate Prepcast. Come on, boys. Let's give it to them. We're organized. Amalgamated Association of Morons. Local 6 and 7 eighths. 
We are morons, tried and true, and we'll do our yell for you. <laughs> Jackson, Roper, why does everything have to be a joke to y'all? I said I wanted a Christmas song. <laughs> How about, how about Silent Night? That's Beauregard's favorite. No, Elton always ruins that one with his flatulence. Mm, yeah, those onion rings are starting to work their way down. Oh, yeah, man. And here I thought, just for one of these meetings, we could get by without any toilet humor. Well, if this takes too much longer, you might get to see my Yule log. <laughs> All right, okay, okay. How about we just do... We wish you a Merry Christmas. It can be to all of our listeners. Even those people out there that don't like me, such as... The gift that keeps on giving. Happy Virgins! Man, I tell you what, this is the best Christmas party we've had yet. Gather around, everyone. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming. He's making a list and checking it twice. He's going to find out who's a naughty and nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good. So be good for goodness sake. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. Better not pout, I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. Yeah! Yeah, you better watch out. Sees you when you're sleeping. Oh, that son is one cool cat. Watch out, you better not cry, you better not pout, I'll be telling you why, Santa Claus is coming to town, yeah, yes he is, hey, he's a making a list, and he's checking it twice, he's gonna find out who's a naughty and nice, Santa Claus is coming to town, Santa Claus is coming to town, he sees you when you're sleeping, he knows when you're awake, he knows. Better watch out, you better not cry, you better not pout, cause I'm telling you why, Santa Claus is coming to town.